Bills at Dolphins. Bills favored by three. AFC East Championship on the line. The Bills, if they lose, they'll know at kickoff. They could be completely out of it if they lose. They'll be the two seed if they win. Dolphins have a playoff berth. They'll be the two seed if they win. They'll be on the road as a wild card team if they don't. So, who do you like? The Bills of the Dolphins. Bills won 48-20 back in week four. Long time ago, a couple of different teams. What happens in South Florida on Sunday night? I would imagine either Pittsburgh or Jacksonville win, right? That's going to put a lot of pressure on Buffalo. Miami, of course, wants to right the ship here before they go in the playoffs, but they know they're in the playoffs. They know that. I think that psychosis is advantage Buffalo Bills, let alone – they dominated him the first time around. And McDermott has shown that he's one of those few coaches out there that has a true understanding of the Dolphins' offense and what they do and how to play it. Now, you always hear me say, right, the Dolphins, when they're when it's not a track meet and the game gets physical and ugly a little bit and they can't throw screens and reverses and start the game looking like that and then you know the little throws over the middle, it's like, okay, well, what else you got? What else is there? And that's the thing that I come into common in, in all their losses. Listen, I know they won one gritty win against the Dallas Cowboys. The Dallas Cowboys have their own issues of gritty football. So it was like, you know, poor man versus poor man in that, that scenario. But so that's what I worry about with the Miami Dolphins here. And, you know, McDermott, the Bulls defense, they have a great defensive line. If there's a weakness to the Dolphins, it is their O-line in pass protecting on third down. You know, they can't just – you know, run at will on you. Like if you play run defense, they're not going to just do it constantly but or, or always have success. But where the Dolphins could be better and where you've heard me say is teams are calling their bluff also on the run game. They're all, they're all at some point in the game going, they won't stick with the run. They'll become too obsessed with all their little cute pass plays and getting Tyree kill the ball. So, you know, I know they ripped off a few runs on us and already have 100 yards maybe at halftime, but they'll give up on it. They will. And I don't understand that about the Dolphins. So that plays into the Bills' hands as well. The Bills, I do think, will struggle moving the ball against the Dolphins' defense. All right, the Bills, we've seen here, it's teams have caught on to what they're doing in the pass game, right, and Joe Brady and all of that. It's simple. Embrace the ugly, Buffalo. You heard me say that earlier today. I think they're at their best when they kind of do the Baltimore Ravens run game stuff and and use Josh Allen in the run game, and then they'll start to get some looks that really benefit them in the pass game. I'm going to go Bills, of course, as you could tell by my breakdown there. 27-21, Bills win, get in, AFC East champs. You know, when I was doing the scores and thinking this through earlier, I put down Bills 28-20, and – I'm starting to think that maybe I should go Dolphins. And when I started to think about Miami at home and Miami trying to finish the job and win the division and get the two seed, I keep thinking 56 to 19. And that, that's, that's hard to come back from in one week. It is. And you throw in all the injuries – you throw in the Bradley Chubb injury. They have other guys banged up. Jalen Waddle still not practicing with the high ankle sprain. The Tyreek Hill fire at his house. Right. That's a distraction. What I texted you a little bit during the way. week about the Dolphins, right? You know, you brought it up today. I can't remember what you texted? Well, just that the, you know oh, about- the grit and the toughness, right? That's something that seems to be missing there in Miami a little bit. And in this kind of game, yeah, I think Buffalo and McDermott they've been in more of these type of games and have shown ability to be grittier and tougher in this type of scenario. But we did see them beat the Cowboys on Christmas Eve in a game that felt like a playoff game I know. in South Florida. That's why I keep coming back to that. But what did the Bills do to the Cowboys just a week or two before that? So I don't like making those yeah. kinds of, well, yeah. this team did this to this team, this team. Right. I just feel like the Bills, resurgent, they bottomed out, they they are playing loose with no pressure, more pressure on the Dolphins. They already beat them 48-20 at home. 28-20 is my score. I'm sticking with it. Final answer, Buffalo Bills over the Dolphins on Sunday night. So we agree on all but two games this week, which means we'll split again and we'll be tied again 
going into the playoffs. Yo, yo, what up, homies? Thanks for watching. Remember, subscribe to Chris Sims on Button. Right now, we got Sunday pod, right? So you can have it Monday morning. We recap all the action. Wednesday, it's the what the f- happened podcast we're gonna get deep in the weeds on the key matchups of the week and then thursday i'm picking games with that jerk florio so you know where to find us homies keep watching peace out we'll see you